Let's talk about nine green flags in a divorced dad, meaning if you are dating a divorced dad or thinking about dating him and you spot any of these qualities in him, it's a signal that he just might be a keeper. Now, of course, these are my own opinions as a psychologist and a stepmom coach and a stepmom of over a decade now. So please, as always, use your own discernment. I was inspired to make this video because dating is hard enough as it is. And when it's a divorced dad you're considering dating, there's just so many additional layers of complexity to consider. And so much of the advice that's out there has a lot to do with red flags and really scary cautionary tales. So I thought it would be kind of fun to take a more positive approach and focus on the green flags, those qualities that really do signal lots of goodness ahead, if you can spot them. Number one, he's open about the fact that he's a parent. He doesn't shy away from that fact or try to gloss over some of the less enticing parts of parenthood. In fact, he even kind of leans in to some of the cringy or potentially dorky parts of the dad role. For example, when my husband and I were first dating and I was over at his house, he was plating up our food and as we were talking, he started cutting up my food into tiny little bite-sized pieces before he caught himself and turned bright red and said, I'm sorry, you're a grown woman, you can cut your own food. He was embarrassed in that moment, but I found it so endearing because he was a dad of two very young kids. So as you're getting to know this person and you see them really owning that part of their identity, it can signal something to you about their priorities, their authenticity, and their willingness to show up as the same version of themselves across different contexts, even when it might be cooler or smoother to shy away from that. That's a big green flag. At the same time though, he's not using the fact that he's a parent to his advantage. He's not using it to attract a new partner. So on a dating profile, for example, he might include a picture of him with his kids, but he's not trotting them out in every single photo on his profile. He's not using them as like, sort of bait to get interest from potential dating partners. Similarly, when you're spending time together, he's not using the kids as the primary focus of his entire personality. He's able to keep company with you, keep the conversation going and engage with you on a range of different topics, not just the fact that he's a dad. It shows that he views his kids as an important part of his life, but not assets that he can use to his own advantage. And it also communicates that he's a multidimensional person, which is always a green flag in my book. Number three, he is committed to his kids and is at least trying to maintain a positive co-parenting relationship. Now, every family situation will be different. And so I'm generalizing here, of course, but you wanna see some indication that this person is taking their role as a co-parent seriously, regardless of their personal feelings toward their ex. Again, there are always exceptions, but I think it's a good idea to be listening for things like a formal co-parenting plan, some kind of formal schedule with the kids, as well as just the overall tone and word choice when discussing co-parenting. This can signal maturity and also can serve as a preview of coming attraction. It tends to suggest that they're playing the long game, which is always good for them, the kids, and you. Now, a quick note about the co-parenting relationship, because this tends to be an area where a lot of misinformation is spread. Two divorced parents do not need to be best friends in order for their co-parenting relationship to be a healthy one. So if, as you're getting to know this person, he indicates that he and his kid's mom are not really that close and wouldn't consider themselves friends, it's not an immediate red flag. What's much more important to pay attention to, and there's research to support this, is the maturity and the seriousness with which he approaches co-parenting. The ability to maintain healthy, open lines of communication and come together around certain decisions for the kids, even though you don't actually enjoy each other, is a major sign of maturity. And that's why I think it's a green flag. Sticking with the theme of maturity, a fourth green flag is that he's emotionally mature and can communicate effectively. Now, I would say this is true of any dating relationship, but for sure when you're dating a divorced parent, because divorce can be such a stressful, often prolonged process, and because there is this ongoing period of adjustment to the family's new normal, it says a lot about a guy if he's able to navigate all of that while still maintaining the capacity to be emotionally available for you and attentive to what you're saying. Sometimes we might have shared values with a person, but if they're not able to effectively communicate with us about those, kind of a non-starter. So for example, maybe he has decided that he doesn't wanna go on to have any more kids. 
There's a big difference between just blurting out, I'm done having kids and asking you about your goals and desires for the future and then having a conversation with you about where he stands. If he shows you that he's able to do that, the second one, green flag. And a fifth and related green flag is that he's open and willing to share his past experiences and growth. There can be a lot of fear and hesitation for a divorced dad to get into his past relationship, but the ability to discuss that with you as a relevant formative part of his life while accepting his own role in his past experience, including the end of that relationship, signals emotional intelligence and again, maturity. Pay particular attention to how he discusses the relationship with his kid's mom. Is he quick to make a blanket statement like she's crazy? Or is he able to speak to the challenges while also accepting his own part in that relationship? That'll tell you a lot about his willingness and ability to accept responsibility in lots of different areas of his life. And it can also give you a little window into the value he places on personal growth and evolution based on some of our hardest experiences in life. Not easy to do for any of us, right? So green flag if he does. By the way, if you're new here and you'd like to learn how to thrive in your stepmom role, I'd love it if you'd subscribe and join my email list using the link below. All right, green flag number six, he has a strong support network and prioritizes self-care. There are often increased demands that fall on the shoulders of a divorced dad. And so his ability to be honest with himself and think proactively about what he'll need can make a huge difference in how successful he is in this role and how healthy and available he might be as a partner to you. If he can take his responsibilities seriously while also recognizing that he's not superhuman and he's willing to ask for help so that he can be the best person, best dad, best partner that he can possibly be, I think that's a big green flag. That shows common sense and humility and a commitment to playing the long game in life. Green flag. Number seven, he is financially responsible and independent. He's got his financial ducks in a row or is actively working on a plan to be able to provide for his family for the long term. He's not above asking for help when he needs it, but he has a healthy sense of independence. Another way to put this is he's not expecting an award for being a good parent. So let's say he does something nice for the kids and you compliment him by saying, oh, you're such a good dad. He might say thank you, but then kind of keep it moving. Almost like, yeah, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Green flag. Green flag number eight, he doesn't force a timeline with you and the kids. So for example, he's not preventing you from meeting the kids for ages and ages without any discussion, but he's also not forcing you to come together and meet before you're all ready. Even after you've met, he's respecting your own natural timing. He's not forcing you or pushing you to have a certain kind of a relationship with the kids faster. The main unifying theme or thread running through all of these examples is that he's sensitive to your experience in all of this. He's protective of you and of the kids. He wants what's best for the people he cares about. And that's evident in how he handles this with you. And green flag number nine, you feel at ease in his company. You already know that you care about this person. You're already feeling outstanding mutual attraction. At least I hope you do. But the reality is stepmom life can be challenging. If you decide to pursue a relationship with this guy and go on to eventually move into the stepmom role, your relationship with this person and the experience of feeling safe and cherished and at ease in his presence, it's going to make a huge difference when the going gets tough. We can't always predict what life has in store, and that's certainly true of step family life. But if you can already feel now that when you're in his presence, you're relaxed, you feel a sense of ease, you don't have to work so hard, that is perhaps one of the greatest green flags of all. Now, if you already know he's a keeper and you're looking ahead to the future, I recommend you check out this video on my top 10 tips for new stepmoms. It's what I wish I knew. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments. What do you think about these green flags? Again, this is just my opinion. Are there any that you think I missed? Any that you recognize in your partner? This is your chance to brag on them, so don't be shy.